Hi world, I'm Gordy. This is the giant Asian hornet, endearingly referred to as murder hornet. Murder hornets are native to East Asia and Japan, but in September 2019, multiple giant hornets were found on the west coast of the United States and Canada with some potentially disastrous consequences. Seeing as we may be sharing our picnics with these prickly ladies in the near future, here's a few things you should know about these very confident, but totally not cute insects. There are giant Asian hornet queens, drones, and workers. The workers are the ones you'll most likely encounter, whose wingspans can reach around 3 inches and their bodies a cool 1.6. This is similar to the length of a golf tee, or 11 five hundredths the size of Channing Tatum, two times larger than the already horrifying European hornet. They prefer to live in low mountains and forests, and when they want to take a break from murdering, they hang out in an underground nest with their queen and 40 to 100 of their brothers and sisters. Here they tend to larva, process and store food, and manage the health of the hive. Between their two large eyes are a celli, which are simple optical receptors used to detect movement and harness the power of 5G to shoot psychic energy at their prey. Their stingers are a quarter of an inch long and can stab through jeans, beekeeper suits, and are about 17 five thousandths the size of Channing Tatum. These stingers are used to capture prey and to help defend themselves, but are they also used to murder people as well? When we think of the nickname murder hornets, we think of hornets murdering humans, which you know, we kind of deserve, but also, it's not totally accurate. In Japan, where the giant hornets roam, about 12 to 26 people die of hornet, wasp, and bee stings each year. This is on par with the yearly number of people who die from similar stings in the United States, meaning it's unlikely that giant Asian hornets kill any more people than European hornets. Don't get me wrong, a sting from the giant hornet's quarter inch long stinger is incredibly painful and can be life threatening when repeated, but the largest risk of death is with folks who are already allergic, like me. I would die from anaphylaxis or sudden cardiac arrest whether I was stung by this cutie or this not so cutie. What's truly concerning about the giant hornet though is that most of the murdering they do is of our friend and spreader of life, the honeybee. Honeybees. They exist in some of the most complicated social structures of any animal on earth. They dance to communicate with one another and sometimes get drunk. They are responsible for 80% of the pollination of cultivated crops that feed the world and are the giant hornet's number one source of food. When hunting, if giant hornets find a honeybee hive, they will launch an attack with a sociopathic level of patience and providence, the show with Merch Kaharigate. They begin by positioning guard hornets outside of the hive's entrance, using their sharp spiked mandibles to decapitate any honeybee that enters or leaves. This is a war of attrition. As the hive weakens, the hornets will begin moving inside, tearing the heads off any brave guard bees willing to stand in their way. If the hornets can successfully position themselves inside, they will gorge themselves on honey and bee larvae. They eat bee babies. This is called the slaughter phase and can completely wipe out a hive in a matter of hours. But they don't always lose as the Japanese honeybee has evolved an incredible defense mechanism against the hornet's aggression. Working as a single defensive unit, the honeybee workers will surround an attacking wasp in an adorable aggressive hug and vibrate their bodies. This vibration will increase the temperature in the ball to 47 degrees Celsius, slowly cooking the wasp with their love. There's only a 3 to 5 degree difference between the lethal temperature of the Japanese honeybee and that of the giant hornet, but that's enough. Scientists are concerned about the Asian giant hornet establishing itself in North America, because once it's established, it will be very difficult to eradicate. This is a problem, because many North American species of honeybee have not evolved the death hug defense mechanism and could be completely defenseless to its mandibles that are 5 millimeters long or 27 ten thousandths of Channing Tatum. <laughs>